Today I received a comment and this is what the lady said. Many children are diagnosing their own parents because of you. Nowadays, there's no more parents that are just angry or borderline or depressed. All of them mandatorily are narcissists. And who is able to even diagnose someone as a narcissist? Because my nephew went no contact with his mom and he's saying it's because of your diagnosis. Now, every parent has some sort of narcissistic trait. You gotta be careful because you're teaching children to diagnose their own parents without consulting a professional. That's not right. People shouldn't be diagnosing one another without people undergoing a complete official diagnostic process. So this is what I answered. I understand your fear, but if you're truly worried about your nephew, you should go talk to him directly and understand why he did this. This is a right that he has and nobody needs an official diagnosis or permission from somebody on the internet to decide that it makes more sense to distance themselves from a toxic relationship. If he made that decision, you should treat him like an adult. And if you truly care, why don't you talk to him with an open heart, without judgment, and without trying to force him to have contact that he doesn't want to have. But the fact that you came to talk to me instead, someone who doesn't even know your family, says a lot. Instead of looking at your own family, you talk to a person on the internet that you don't even know. This could indicate that members of your family are used to externalizing responsibility and blaming third parties. It could mean that your family doesn't know how to communicate directly with one another and you try to get things done through triangulation. It could mean that your family doesn't let people make their own decisions or treat them like adults or individuals. Does this seem like something that could happen in your family? Because it sure as heck happened in mine and I thought it was invasive and pretty sick. Another thing, depression and borderline are things that will oftentimes happen with narcissism. They are often comorbid with narcissism. There are many reasons that would make a relationship toxic or destructive. It really doesn't matter what the famous term that everybody is using nowadays is. I think the most important thing is for you to talk to your nephew directly because he identified with this content for some reason and that's what's important. Now, I did share this on my Instagram and I got some feedback from followers. These are some of the things that followers said. One mother got in touch and answered. I'm so glad that the children are finally opening their eyes. My son told me something that was really hard to listen to. He said things like, you don't care about me, I don't feel loved. It doesn't matter even if I scream because you don't pay attention and you just don't care. It was very difficult to hear and it was even more difficult to see that I was exactly what he said. But it was also the best thing that happened. Nowadays, we are rebuilding our relationship and he is so generous that he accepts my apologies. Like you said, it really doesn't matter what the diagnosis is. What matters is whether the relationship is respectful, loving, and reciprocal. Another follower got in touch and added, if it's not narcissism that person is dealing with and an incorrect diagnosis was given, even so, it's still abuse and disrespect. Nobody goes no contact with their parents for no reason. The word narcissism helps us really understand what's going on because without that word, it just seems like this weird, vague feeling that you can't really put a name to. So in my case, everything actually does fit the description of narcissism, but I'm not really worried about whether that would be the correct diagnosis or not. I'm worried about getting far away from abuse. Not to mention people who truly know the content you share know that not everything is narcissism and you make that very clear. Yes, I do. So a couple of things that were also shared were things like, you know, I tried not to go no contact with my family and my psychologist was against it. But then after some time, she started noticing that every time I was in touch with my mom, the suicidal ideation would start again. And then she realized that I simply couldn't have any mental health and with her support, I was able to finally distance myself. And also I did get a comment from a lady who said, that's my mom, I went no contact with her. She's pretending that it's actually her nephew because she doesn't want to say that her daughter went no contact with her. Now, this is interesting because when I shared the comments, uh, the original comment, right, on my Instagram, I actually concealed the name of the person. So there was no way anyone who was reading the original comment would know who the person was. And this lady who got in touch saying that it was her mom actually got the name right without having seen it. So I'm convinced that it was actually a narcissistic mom or someone who her daughter identified as being narcissistic who was pretending to be worried about her nephew who went no contact with their mom. Now, if you identify with this content and you want to know how to gather the strength, the courage, and the clear thinking to discern what's happening in your family and to distance yourself if necessary, check out the Inner Mastery Lab. It will help you make that shift and actually see yourself as a powerful individual who knows what they want and is able to act in accordance to that. 
I can help you understand and overcome your family dynamics and help you individuate and become the powerful human being that you are meant to be.